All right, so I wanted to recreate the apple liquid glass here in Blender, but instead of creating that specific liquid glass, I managed to make the glass in a too realistic style. Press Shift plus A, go to Mesh, and let's select the circle. And let's go here to the corner, click on the Add Circle to open it up, and I'm gonna go and decrease the vertices to 30. So if I rotate and click on the Z axis here, it is gonna show it perfectly from the top. And as you can see, these two vertices are perfectly vertical. So that's what we're gonna need to achieve. Now let's go to the object mode, change it to edit mode. And here I'm gonna go to the face and select grid fill. Here I'm gonna go to the grid fill span and I'm gonna increase it to 13. So now as you can see, the lines are perfectly horizontal and vertical. And here what I need to do is select half of it. So I'm going to go from here, select half. Let's go and select the move tool. And I'm going to drag it. And this is going to create a pill. And I'm going to press the letter A. So this is going to select everything. And press the letter E and drag it upwards. Let's go back to edit mode, change it to object mode. And now let's go to the modifier. Click on add modifier and search for a remesh. Enter. Here I'm gonna go and select the smooth, increase the arc tree depth to nine. Let's go and uncheck remove disconnected and let's select, click on apply. Now let's go back again, add modifier and type in smooth corrective, enter. Here I'm gonna increase the factor to one, a repeat to 200 and I'm gonna check only smooth. Now let's go and press shift plus A and I'm gonna go to the mesh select plane. Press the letter S to scale it down. I'm gonna select the plane. Let's go to the object. I'm gonna go here to the scale. And in my situation, I'm gonna go with 1.920. A Y is gonna be 1.080. I'm also gonna rotate the Z to 90. I'm also gonna rotate the X to 90. And also rotate this one to 90. There you go. Select the move tool, arrange it. And let's select the plane. Let's go to shading and click on the new. Press Shift plus A, search for image texture. Place it here, connect the color to base color. I'm also going to search for mapping and texture coordinate. Connect the vector to vector, generate to vector. I'm going to click on the upload and I'm going to select the background image. Click on open. Now this is going to fit perfectly because both are 1080p. I'm going to select the button and move it to the front. Let's go click on new, delete the principal, press shift plus A, search for mix shader, search for glass and search for light path, enter. I'm gonna connect the diffuser ray to factor and glass to shader. And I'm also gonna connect the shader to surface. I'm gonna go to the roughness and I'm gonna type in 0.05. IOR is gonna be 1.8. Let's go and set up the renderer, change the EV to cycles, CPU to GPU. I'm gonna decrease the max sampling to 100. And now I'm gonna activate the viewport shading here. All right, now you cannot see much. But I'm going to go and press Shift plus A. Let's go to Light and select Area. So I'm going to go and bring this out. And I'm also going to go to the Object and scale it, make it more wider. Let's go to the Constraint. And let's select the Track 2. Let's select the Eyedropper tool. And click on the glass here. So this is going to position it automatically on it. And I'm also going to go back to the Object. And I'm going to scale it back to 1. And I'm going to change this up. There you go. I'm also going to press the letter S to scale it more and position it something like this. Now let's go here to the light data. I'm going to increase the power to 300. And I'm also going to go back to the a render, go to color management. And I'm going to change the AGX to Kronos. Let me position the light a little bit more up. And I'm going to select the glass. Right now it's really dark. And I'm going to move it to the front a little bit more. And maybe I'm going to decrease the power a little bit more. I'm going to press Shift plus A. Go to light. Select another area light. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring it down. And let's go here. Select track 2. Select the eyedropper tool and connect it to the glass. And from here you can move it. And I'm going to position this somewhere at the bottom. I'm also going to scale it up. And I'm going to increase the lightness on it. I'm going to go with like 70-ish. And I'm going to position it until it's going to be correct. I'm also going to need to set up a camera. I'm going to press Shift plus A. And I select the camera. I'm going to bring it out somewhere here. 
and let's go to the options decrease these to zero this is going to be 90 and z is going to be 90 as well i'm going to activate the camera view i'm going to bring it in a little bit more and here basically all you need to do is just arrange the lights bring them back i'm going to increase the size of this even more there it is put the plane a little bit more back and take a look at that and about least i'm going to go to the render a render image so basically you're going to need to tweak it until you're going to get it right and pretty much that's it thanks for watching